Hey, good morning, beautiful Saturday morning here in Phoenix, Arizona. Lou Hobica with Hobica Services. Today, we're going to replace a hot water heater. It's a tankless, and this is at Lou Hobica's home. So, yes, to answer your question, hot water heaters and HVAC, they both do fail even at Lou Hobica's home. I know it's hard to believe. Things only last so long. So we have an Eternal here. Our company put in a couple of dozen of these. We've had a lot of problems. We got rid of them long ago. This is probably one of the last of the Mohicans. They are uh, well known for their tank leaks. Company has gone out of business. So today we're going to replace this bad boy with a Navion. This is 195,000 BTU Eternal here. It supplies hot water to my entire home, about 4,500 square foot as well as my hydronic heating as you can see I have two hot water coils on my air handlers in the attic that's how i get my heat and we got gas got a recirc pump and as you can see i've shut the water off that's just some residual but we have a tank leak here and i've been out of hot water for a whole week it's saturday i'm here to replace my own and my wife has not been happy. But she will be after today. I'm going to be a lucky boy. All right. Let's see what Lou can do today. See you in a bit. All right. We have the Eternal out. The Navion's getting ready to go in. Let's take a look. All right. We have everything gutted out. Cleaned up. New wall bracket. Mounted on a piece of... Uh, one inch particle board for better support on the wall. And let's take a look. Piping's all ready to go. All right, we're gonna hang the Navion. Okay, we're complete. The Navion NPE 240A is all piped in. Gas, flu, functioning set at 140 degrees. It's got an internal research pump, an external research pump, and we're, we got hot water. My wife is happy. Looks like a pretty clean job. No leaks. Good job, Lou.